Hey guys, welcome back. I am Megan. Um, and I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of a um, wet paper towel swipe and a swipe with plastic, um, similar to acetone, acetate, not acetone. <laughs> um, but this is basically just like a page, pro page protector from an office um, place like you get in the... Um, like office Depot or something. It's really thin, just plastic. Um, I've done these before and I've used the shiny side and the not shiny side and I haven't really noticed the difference, so um, I don't know if it matters. But I'm going to do a side-by-side -side of this and a wait, wet paper towel just to see if there's any difference. I'm not expecting anything dramatic, but you never know. I'm going to start with purple. All my paints are mixed a little bit differently, um, but they're all mixed with the same consistency that I normally use. Um, I call it my custard mix, so I will link to that here um, so you can see, because I think a lot of times consistency is more important than pouring medium. Um, and most of the colors have silicone in them. This one does not because I haven't messed with it. This is an Arteza um, pouring acrylic color, so I haven't done anything to that. So most of these are probably float draw. You know what? I kind of went backwards on these. This is a little bit more purpley. Oh well. Sometimes lately I've been like flooding the canvas when I do a um, swipe. It ends up with a lot more paint on the um, canvas. And it's actually not necessary. You don't need a ton. Ooh, I wish I had more of that teal. I wonder if I have another teal. It's more green. Let me see. I like it. Mm, it's okay. It'll work. You don't want to get to the end and have bare canvas. I'm not going to totally flood this canvas. You can... And maybe I should do a side-by-side -side comparison of that sometime. That would be interesting. I don't have any yellow or, or, or orange. Well, I have some orange mixed, but I'm not going to use any. But I do have some red and this peach color. These are all just pre-mixed colors that I had sitting around. We're having a snow day here in southern Oklahoma. We're in an area that didn't get much. Some cities got a lot more than we did. But it doesn't take much snow on the ground in Oklahoma to consider it a snow day. So. Okay. Make sure that first part's covered really well. Okay, right, so I'm going to start with the plastic. Let's see, is this about half? Let's start about halfway. All right, I'm just going to swipe down. Whoop. It's pulling that purple a little bit more. Pretty cells. Ooh, I like that. Hopefully that red and peach will, there we go. Come through a little bit. Oh my goodness, I really like that. That's very pretty. Okay, you lay my acetate so it doesn't drip on the floor. That would be bad. Ooh, that's really pretty. Okay, oh my goodness, I like that, okay. Before I get distracted, and that will be easy to touch up. That's probably just because of the silicone, and it was I just pulled too much off. Um, okay, so for my wet paper towel um, or kitchen towel, I think that's what it's called, kitchen paper, kitchen towel, in um, England, and I just basically ran it under the water and under the sink and squeezed as much of the water as I could out of it. So you can see, you can see my hand through it. It's it's damp enough, but it's not dripping or anything. And I could squeeze this, and no water would come out. Okay, so carefully here, let me move some of these cups so that I can do this carefully without getting into my previously swiped area. Okay. There we go. Okay. And I just didn't have enough purple on there because it's pulling. It's actually pulling more. 
So you need a little bit more paint with the paper towel, it looks like, than the plastic. The plastic hits a little. And you can see it's dragging more. The plastic is not as heavy as a wet paper towel. So this is more doing more of a draggy thing. The stones are coming through really pretty, though, aren't they? And we've got that kind of neat line in the middle. I don't mind that at all, actually. Oops, I pulled up with my finger over there. It's all right. Pretty. And my peach did pretty much totally disappear. I put that probably a little too, started it a little too low. That's all right. Okay, you can see it right here. There's a little bit. I'm just going to touch up my purple real quick. The only thing about swipes is you do, like the sides, my sides are completely bare. Um, you do have to touch up the sides when you're done because, you know, you're pulling off, it, you know, um, that way, but you're not pulling off this way. Um, I'll touch that up a little bit more. And of course, swiping from the top with one band of color does give you that swipe line. Um, you can, if you don't like the swipe line, one thing you can do is dip your paper towel. Um, I'll link to it. I call it a, a loaded paper towel swipe. But if you put some paint on your work surface, dip your paper towel in it. It probably would work for the plastic too, but I have not tried it. Um, and then swipe through. So there's already different colors of paint on your paper towel. And that keeps this from being all one color because you're adding color to it. Kind of like if you swipe once and then swipe twice without wiping off your swipe tool. You have that color um, already on your swipe tool, and so you don't have that band. So that's an option if you don't like that. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I actually don't mind it on this, but uh, purple is my favorite color, so that might be something to do with it. And now that it's sort of sat and developed, there's not much difference in this, although I can definitely tell a little bit more of a linear pattern just a little bit in this side, whereas this side's all chaotic. So I'm not sure it makes that much difference. I do prefer working with the plastic. I find it easier um, to pull than a wet, wet paper towel because it's, it you know, it's um, flat and already kind of, you know, you don't have to, I don't know, I prefer it um, just as a working um, tool, but um you know, if you think one side looks better than the other, let me know. If you see differences that I don't see, um, comment. And also let me know what your favorite swiping tool is. Um, maybe I haven't tried it and I'd like to give it a try. So let me know and let others who are, are watching know what your favorite swiping tool is. And that was super quick. So we will see you next time, guys. Happy pouring.